our next exercise is to terminate the Category 3 and Category 5 cable with jacks for the work area outlet and the patch panel. There are both Category 3 and Category 5 jacks provided. They say on them Category 3 or Cat 5. You want to make certain that you always use Category 5 hardware on Category 5 cable. If you use a Category 3 jack on a Category 5 cable, you will have Category 3 performance. The design of the jack is very, very specific to the cable to make sure that it maintains the high frequency response of the cable through the connection. So be very, very careful with that. We'll start with terminating a Category 3 jack. The Category 3 jack has different color codes for the wires depending on the connection. As you've learned earlier, there are various types of ways these jacks and plugs are terminated, with the different pairs being in different positions on the conductors in the plug and jack. And we're going to do a 568A connection, and that connection is shown in the color code on the back of the instructions for the jack. Generally, Category 3 jacks follow the exact same color code. They're simply straight through wired. We will not find that to be the case with Category 5, as you'll see later. So let's set our color code up so we can see it. Set our jack aside. We have what was called like a handheld termination aid. We can take the jack and clip it onto the aid and it allows us a, a simple way to hold it while we're doing the punch downs. We'll strip about an inch and a half to two inches of jacket off the cable. We won't need as much here as we need for a punch down. And then we'll follow the color code for the wires. Now it's not like the 110 block where we maintain a pair together in each successive contact. Here we are splitting the pairs up and the 568A code says we go white green green, white orange, blue, and it's a good idea to fan the cable out, get it the way we need it, blue and then blue-white, orange, white-brown, and brown, okay? And we're simply going to bring these up to the jack, put them in the jack. We can do it several at a time or we can do all at once. With the jack, it's often easier to do them all at once. And that way you can check all of your color coding before you actually punch them down. So you can see I'm putting these into here the correct order. So I now have the color coded order in the back of the jack. I can take my punch down tool punch the wires down And then there's a cover that goes over the back. Press that in place. Snap it off the termination aid. And there's our Category 3 jack.
Next, we want to do the Category 5 jack. That's the one, in this case, in the clear package, but very distinctly says Category 5 on it. Note the package does not have color coding on it. Category 5 is either going to be 568A or 568B. That is going to be marked on the jack itself. If you look at the back of the jack, you can actually see the separate color codings for A and B. The reason for that is that in order to maintain Category 5 performance, these jacks actually have more twists inside them. They're not just coming into straight contacts and going straight out to the contacts in the receptacle itself. So there are going to be differences in the color code scheme here than the color code scheme that you'll have in the in the uh, normal 568A, 568B pairings. It's different than the Category 3. So it's imperative to follow these color codes here very carefully. So let's take our Category 5 jack and put it on our terminating aid. Let's strip about an inch and a half of jacket off our Category 5 cable, separate out our conductors, untwist now approximately an inch of the inch and a half or so that we have removed jacket from. Separate out the individual wires. Smooth them out a bit. And now, we're going to put these into the 110 punch down on the back of this jack in the order that is shown in the color coding here. So let's follow this code and maintain the twists as close to the back of the jack as, jack as possible. We need to have no more than a half an inch of the cable untwisted. And if you work carefully, that should be no problem whatsoever. You will find a lot of crossover at the back because of the twists that exist inside the jack. So there, we followed 568A all the way across. And now we simply punch down all the conductors Attach the cover to the back, and there's our finished Category 5 termination. Again, the twists need to be carried up as close to the back as possible. The color coding on the jack needs to be followed, not the standard 568 a or B color coding because of the twists inside. Okay, now we've got that finished. We're all set. You've now seen how to do 66 blocks, 110 blocks. You've seen how to do jacks. Finish off the rest of the jacks. Finish off all the connections. And you should have a Category 5 connection from patch panel to the work area outlet. A Category 3 from the patch panel to the work area outlet through the 66 block, and then we'll be ready to test.